Hey guys, Stephanie here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, guys, you already know by the title, but we're gonna be talking about my veneers. <laughs> Yes, girl, I got my teeth done. So for those of you who don't know, I got my veneer procedure done about six months ago. I actually vlogged the entire trip, the entire procedure. If you didn't check out that vlog yet, make sure you check it out after this video. I'm gonna leave the link up top so you can check out that video. So for those of you who follow me on my Instagram, you may have saw on my story that I was going to film this veneer update video and I asked if you guys had anything to ask me and a lot of you guys had tons of questions for me, but I pretty much narrowed it down to the most common questions. And by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me right now, it's at stephanie.voltaire. If you wanna know the T, on my teeth, on my veneers, then keep on watching. So the first question that a lot of you guys had asked me was how much did the procedure cost? It cost $5,510 US and I got these acronium crowns. 10 up top, 10 in the bottom. I got my procedure done at Premium Dental Turkey, which is located in Antalya, Turkey. And my doctor was Dr. Ishmael. And yes, guys, for those of you who don't know, there is a difference between crowns and veneers. Like I said, I had got zirconium crowns. And although my doctor had explained to me the difference between the two, I really don't wanna give you guys any false information. So if you really wanna know the difference between crowns and veneers, I would just suggest that you look it up on either Google or YouTube. And one other thing that I like about Premium Dental Turkey, if you decide to pay for your procedure in cash, they will give you a 10% discount. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so the second most common question was, why did I decide to choose Premium Dental Turkey? Why did I decide to go all the way to Turkey? So when I had decided that I wanted to get veneers, I started looking up prices and doctors in the US and guys, they were really expensive. Like I'm talking 25,000 plus. I even went in for a couple consultations and those were the numbers that they were throwing at me. And obviously I don't have that kind of cash. I don't have that kind of money to be spending on getting my teeth done. And that's when I started looking overseas to get my procedure done. So first I was considering Colombia, but I really didn't like the style. To be honest, no shade. Most of the veneer procedures that I saw, the results really looked big and bulky. Like the teeth looked like horse teeth. I just, I wasn't feeling it at all. So I eventually came across Turkey and I came across Premium Dental Turkey and I love their work. Um, I was stalking their Instagram page. All of their teeth results, they looked really, really nice. So that's when I hit them up and I made it happen. And also beside their work, the price was significantly lower. Even when you add in your flight costs and hotel, you're still saving a ton of money. So that's ultimately why I decided to go to Turkey. Okay, so moving on to the next question. Somebody asked me, how long was my flight time and where was I traveling from? So for those of you who don't know, I'm located in Orlando, Florida. So that's where I was traveling from. And from Orlando, Florida to Turkey, I had to take two connecting flights. So the first flight was from Orlando to Washington, Washington to Switzerland, and then Switzerland to Antalya, Turkey. And in total, the flight time was about 20 hours total. So the flight was really long, I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit tiring, but nonetheless, my flight was pleasant. I didn't have any issues. And also my mom had accompanied me on the trip. So for both of our flights, if any of you guys were wondering, it cost about uh, $2,400. And we had got our flights on Expedia. So I would say for, a round trip ticket for two people traveling to Europe. That's actually not bad if you ask me. Oh, and one other thing, guys, I have to give you this heads up. If you are located in the States and you plan on traveling to Turkey, you need to get a Turkey visa. You have to apply for a Turkey visa. It was actually pretty simple to apply. 
I did it online and it was also really cheap. It costs about $20 a person. So for both me and my mom, I paid about $40 in total. And it just asked you simple questions like, where are you traveling from? How long you plan on staying in Turkey? And what is the purpose of your stay? So that was pretty much all that they asked me. So if any of you guys plan on traveling to Turkey and you're from the States, I'm gonna leave the link to the visa application down below. So another question that a lot of you guys asked me was, is the procedure painful? Now, let me just break it down for you guys. Was the procedure painful for me? No. So if any of you guys had saw my vlog, you already knew that they shaved down my real teeth. And before they actually shaved down my teeth, they shot local anesthesia into my gums, the top and the bottom. So. I did not feel any pain whatsoever. And before I went back to my hotel, they prescribed me with painkiller medication. So whenever I would feel any discomfort or soreness of my teeth, I would just pop one of the painkillers in and I would be fine. And now when I talk about discomfort, I mean, my teeth were very, very sensitive. After my first appointment and when they had shaved down the teeth, from then on until the end of the procedure, my teeth felt very, very sensitive. So the procedure in all took about seven days. And if I had to scale it from one to 10, I would say it was about a four. Just imagine biting down on a really cold ice cream. Like that's the best way that I could explain it. That's how it felt. But was it painful? No, it just felt really uncomfortable. And you guys know that feeling when your teeth are sensitive, you just feel like a nerve shock, you know, every so often. And it was mainly whenever I would talk, I would feel, you know, that shock. So that in itself, I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit annoying and it was uncomfortable. But as of now, at my six month mark, I really don't feel no sensitivity nothing. I could pretty much eat what I want. That's another question that you guys ask me. Is there certain foods that I can't eat? Um, technically no, but keep in mind guys, if you're going to get this procedure done, you have to keep in mind that these are veneers and they're not your real teeth. So you have to be cautious so that you don't have an accident. So just don't be careless with it and be biting down on whatever, you know? It's like the same concept. If you have a wig on, you know, you're aware that it's not your real hair that you have a wig on, right? So you're going to be very cautious so that your wig stay intact. It's pretty much the same concept with your teeth. But to answer that question, I could pretty much eat whatever I want, but let's say for example, if I'm eating like crabs or whatever, obviously I'm not gonna bite down on the shell, I'll just simply take a knife or one of those crab cracker thingies to crack the shell. So just don't be careless with it. And for the most part, you should be fine. But for the teeth sensitivity, one thing that really helped was I changed my toothpaste. Now I use the Sensodyne toothpaste and it is the rapid relief. I don't have it on me right now, but I'll insert a picture over here. I really like that specific toothpaste. It really helps with teeth sensitivity. Cause I'm not gonna lie, when I came back to the States, my teeth continue to feel sensitive for like a good month and a half, two months. But it was like every so often when I'm talking, like I said, you know, I would just feel it. It wasn't painful, but it was just, you would feel it every so often. The Sensodyne toothpaste really helped a lot. It helped a lot. So I would recommend if you get this procedure done and you're experiencing teeth sensitivity, you might want to switch your toothpaste. But overall, to answer y'all question, no, the procedure was not painful at all. All right, so the next most common question that I got, and this is a really good one, you guys asked me, how long do these veneers last? How long are they supposed to last? Now, 
my doctor told me depending how well I take care of them it's supposed to last at a minimum of 10 years it could last longer than 10 years it really depends on how well you take care of your veneers and that means brushing your teeth daily preferably twice a day flossing daily getting your six month cleaning at the dentist I actually have a scheduled appointment to get my first deep cleaning at the dentist next week so i'm gonna do that so they pretty much inform me once i keep that regime and incorporate it into my lifestyle the veneer should last a significantly long time but one thing that i must point out guys before you get your procedure done if you're considering it you also have to keep in mind that this procedure it's an investment and you have to keep in mind that you're not just paying a one-time cost depending on how you take care of your teeth you're gonna have to switch it about every 10 years or so and it also depends which dentist you go to i heard for some veneers it could last as little as five years so depending who you go to you might have to switch your veneers up as often as five years so you have to consider that guys this is not just a one-time payment and then you're done and then you have these veneers forever it does not work like that so if you're considering veneers just look at it as an investment a long-term investment and you want to ask yourself are you willing to invest long term into your veneers and keep up with the maintenance before i had got my veneer procedure done that is something that i definitely thought about and i had factored in and for me personally I'm okay with investing into my teeth and I don't mind the long-term investment. But for some of you, if that's a commitment that you don't wanna make, then I don't think veneers would be the best option for you and you should probably consider other alternatives. Okay, so before I wrap up this video, I'm gonna answer one more question. And another common question that you guys ask me is, did I regret getting my veneer procedure done? And the answer is no. I love my teeth. I love how they turn out. I feel much more confident now when I'm smiling, when I'm talking, because my teeth were a big insecurity of mine. And it's funny, when I had told a couple of friends and family I was getting this procedure done, a lot of their response was, why are you getting it done? There's nothing wrong with your teeth. but..." Like I said, it was the insecurity of mine. So the way they perceived my teeth was obviously not the same way that I looked at my teeth. And yeah, I am basically at a point now in my life where I love myself. I am confident. I love the woman that I'm becoming. And if I see something that I want to alter or change, I'm doing it for me. I'm not seeking validation from others. I'm doing it for me. And I think that's something that's very important. Before you get any procedure done, whether, you know, it's veneers, BBL, etc., just make sure that A, you're doing it for yourself. And B, I think it's very important to embrace your flaws, embrace your insecurities. Truly, you know, love yourself before you decide to get any procedure done. And with that being said, I feel like with any procedure that you get done nowadays, you're gonna come across your naysayers, your haters, but girl, don't pay them no mind. I had a couple of haters that try to come for me for my teeth, for my veneer, saying, you know, they're fake, etc. But like I said, I got the procedure done. For me, I'm happy with it. I love it, and that's all that matters. So that was pretty much it for this video, guys. I really hope that you all enjoyed this. I hope that my six month update was informative. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Give me a big thumbs up. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mwah.